Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh. Oh yeah. That, that's some shiny armor. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh. Hi guys. I didn't. I didn't know you guys were there. I was um. <laughs> just just checking out my uh new shining armor and uh this mirror right here yeah okay let, let me just show you guys what we what we've gotten accomplished so let's promise not to speak of that again i mean that that's kind of embarrassing. I know I do some embarrassing things here, guys, but uh, that was probably the most embarrassing. So let's let's not talk about that again. So moving on, we've we've collected up a lot of resources, and I've been doing a lot off camera. I've been gathering so much podzel. I've had to go back in and add a mending book to the silk touch, and it's it's been quite a long painful process and i've already used up all of this chest of podzil i've still got this full chest and i've still got that much podzil left i've also been collecting up a bunch of gravel i still got a little bit more over here but i've used up a lot of this so far and so let me just show you guys what i've what i've done so let's go ahead and take stanley and let me show you guys what we've done so what i've tried to do is gradually turn this into like different ground cover so into podzol and coarse dirt and everything and it's gotten more and more consistent as we come down here now we haven't done this area and this area is what's going to take quite a bit of time now i have decided what we're doing over here now i knew what we were doing here in our last video but i've just kind of confirmed the design in my creative world and i'm very happy with it i'm excited to show you guys so let's go ahead and oh whoa stanley whoa it's okay girl it's okay stanley if you guys didn't know stanley is a girl um she just goes by stanley it, it don't ask me why it's just what she chose and so we're we're going to go ahead and get started with what we're going to be building off in the distance so our first step today is we got to clear out all these trees still mainly all these not we're not going to worry about the ones on the hill yet we have to start going and clearing out all of these trees so this is going to be where we're going to collect all of our wood for years to come we'll never have to go cut down a single tree after this project because you know it's it's just we're gonna have so much wood we're not gonna have to worry about it so let's continue with cutting all these trees down and then we're gonna take out the top layer of dirt i know i've got an exciting few hours ahead of myself right now but for you guys it's it's just gonna be like a second or two So we've used up all of our axes and we've gathered quite a bit of wood and saplings, some ferns, and then some sweet berries that were over there as well. Now, we have done quite some damage on this forest and cleared it all out. And now, you guys are probably still wondering what we're doing over here. And everything I just did was partially counterproductive because we're going to have to come back in eventually and put some trees in, which is not going to be the fun thing to do. Um, we plan on making this area into a, like, sawmill area, like, where there's some lumberjacks out here, and they're deforesting a forest, and so that's what the idea is, and now, we are, like I said, we're gonna have to put these trees back in, which is not gonna be a fun thing, but uh, we gotta do it in a special way, we gotta do it without leaves on them, and so we're gonna plant them and then take off all the leaves, but before we get to that part, we need to start terraforming the ground. So it's been a couple hours since the last clip of you guys seeing me. It took me about three hours to cut down all the trees, do a little bit of terraforming over here, and oh my goodness, it has been a minute. So I'm going to go spend another uh, just a second for you guys while I terraform the first layer of all this grass block and turn it into beautiful coarse dirt and podzol. So as you guys enjoy the next few seconds, I'm going to be crying a little inside as I remove all of this dirt, trying to, uh, you know, replace it with more dirt, fresh dirt. So just a little update of what we've got going on so far. We've put in quite a bit of coarse dirt and podzol and everything, and it's 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 been quite a bit um we still got a lot more to go i'm 
probably going to get more Podzil and dirt. And this is probably going to turn into a multi-day project. So, hmm. It, this is this is a good one. I don't know why I chose to do such a big project right now, but it's it's going. We're almost there. We'll cut to once this is all done. Now, been about three days, just about. Took me all this time to terraform this land and get it to the way I wanted it to, with some podsol and some dirt. I had to go back and collect a whole lot more resources. But guys, it is finally done. This section now. Don't talk to me about that area. <laughs> we're not we're not thinking about that. However, we've gotten this all laid out, and I went into another world and looked at what a mega tiger looked like, and I, I kind of I was wrong. I I thought it was kind of more sporadic, like it was back over here. However, a mega tiger has a lot more podsol, which I which I didn't realize. So we had to go gather quite a bit more because all those two chests full wasn't enough, and Rain, why do you always do this to us? It, as soon as I start recording, you, you decide to rain. So let's go stop this rain real quick. So I've just been using some wool to kind of map out where we're going to be building. Um, so I want to have a couple different cranes. I want to have the actual sawmill. And then I want a place for, I, I guess, kind of like where workers would live and little tents. So that's kind of distinguished out there. The pink is where the tents would be. The orange is where cranes are going to go. And the blue is going to be where the sawmill is. So let's go ahead and head down and kind of start working on the sawmill. We're going to start by getting all of this wool up. And we're going to place down, I think, let's do cobblestone stairs, which I don't have. So let's let's make those real quick. Um, I don't know. Let's do 14 to start with. And then we're going to place them in just like this. So it's kind of like as if it is a guide and then we'll come in and I place my shears where they don't need to be I need to place that. And then I think a slab, a slab, a slab, 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 and slab. And then what I'd like to do, we'll go ahead and move this now because this is what is actually going to be the saw and let's get this out and place it down. Nope, not the right direction. Let's see, let's see, can I do it that way? Perfect, that looks pretty cool. And then let's fill in this area. So same thing, stairs going like this, and that's as if it is helping to guide um, the log. This is just the start of our sawmill. Now we need to add in some walls. Do we wanna do cobblestone on this? Does that look? I think the cobblestone will look pretty good throughout this build just because it's, I mean, it's a wooded area and we could make it act as if they don't have a whole lot. Now we could do stone brick. That might be pretty cool as well. We might come back and play with that because we might end up having too much cobblestone in this build. But what we do need is we need some walls. So we're going to need, we're going to pull this up three so we're gonna need 12 walls and then we need some scaffolding let's go tear that one down Bloop. all right now that we got our scaffolding that should work and let's let's build this one up Here's a look at our very first building that is going to be one of many in this area and this is the sawmill and we got the little feed in and we got our saw blade going to cut it and then the outfeed which is actually that way but it looks pretty good now I realized I need some wool for these tents so I gotta run back to our wool farm and gather some and I also put one of these fences down so we can bring Stanley out here I don't want to have to keep running back and forth and Stanley is the perfect animal to bring us back and forth and Stanley loves to be written a lot. So let's let's go ahead and grab Stanley on our way back. All right, girl. All right, Stanley, let's let's get you un untied. Let it, it, there we go. Awesome. Come on, Stanley. 
let's get out there and let's continue to build and let's go. You know what, Stanley? Promise you me you won't run off. Y you promise? No, no, Stanley. Stanley, I said don't run off. Okay, we're, we're going to have to go get a fence and tie you, tie you, tie you to the fence post. All right, girl, we, we got you. We got you. Your lead tied to the fence post. You're, you're not going anywhere. Now, Stanley, I know it's it's not the most fun thing to be tied up, but you you, you, you can't be trusted. You, you just like to run away, and, and I need to be able to take you back and get... I know you're just upset. It's going to be okay. I will I will take you back and forth as we go to get more wool and more material materials. It's going to be okay, Stanley. So we've been working on these tents a little bit, and you can see we've already gotten two done. I mean, we've got all of them pitched up, but we still got to fill in the backsides and dig down. So that's kind of what we're doing. We still need to put in spruce right here, and that's kind of the plan. We're making these tents as if they're like the little housing or housing units. It sounds like we're, we've put them out here in a prison. Wait, have we? Is this a prison out here? No, I don't think so. Not not in our kingdom. We we don't have prisoners. They're they're just normal workers. Um but so this is kind of the idea is to have them all put up in tents and that way I don't know, I want I wanted the cobblestone. Okay, blue wool. Go away. And so we're going to have them put up out here in tents and I think that's where this is really going to kind of work out and I think we need to build like a cabin too for like the head person who's out here. I feel like they should be put up in like a log house or something along those lines because they don't deserve to be in a tent. I mean, look at this tent. You can see straight through it. I mean, ugh, all the water and elements could get in here. Stanley, you doing all right over there? Okay, cool. But yeah, I mean, yeah, we got to build something a little bit better for the person who is in charge of this operation out here. Stanley? 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 Stanley, where'd you go? Stan- st st no. 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 Back up. No. Guys, I don't- I don't know where Stanley has gone. Oh no! God! No! God, please, no! 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 Guys, we've lost Stanley. I, I don't know what to do. It's... It, this is a sad day. I, I might cry a little. Stanley was a great horse. There, there's really only one thing that we can do. S Stanley, you will... You will always be remembered as the, as the greatest horse. Y you were the greatest horse. I, I didn't get to know you for long, but you know... We, we had some great times together, and it, it was great going and riding through that forest. You, you were my first, you were my first good horse. But, you know, I, I know you're probably in a better place, so that, that's all I can ask for. And if I find what happened to you, I, I, I will avenge, avenge, avenge you. I'd like to dedicate this video to Stanley. Stanley was the greatest horse I could have ever asked for. Stanley, this, this video is dedicated to you, girl. So let me show you what we've gone accomplished over here. We've gone quite a bit done. We've decorated this area with some ferns. We've furnished these tents for all of our workers out here. Put some barrels down, and we also got some fires in here. I think it, it's starting to look great and kind of homey and cozy. I think, I think this is going to really turn out pretty well. Now we need to get to work on what I've kind of been dreading is these cranes. I, I don't know where to start with them. I really don't, and so I'm not sure how these are going to turn out, but we're going to give it our best shot and see kind of how this works. Three hours later. So we finally got our cranes done, and honestly, that took forever to design, and that isn't even my design. I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I took some inspiration from F Whip and kind of copied his design, changed it up just a little bit. Um, but he has a crane down in his harbor city that I've been watching on his Let's Play series, and I thought this might be perfect for our lumber area. So we got one, two, and three cranes up here now. And now what we have left to do is we still got to build that log cabin. We still got to put some decor in here, some nice little stuff, put the trees back in, 
and do stuff like this where we have logs already collected and tied down with like these railroad tracks. I think that would be a great addition. So we're going to go ahead and start working on adding some trees back in, going to be adding in just some decorations and just to kind of make it feel more like a logging camp instead of just just a blah piece of land. So we've loaded up our uh, inventory with all the materials that we're going to kind of need. So we're going to start placing in like, uh, oh, I need an axe. Uh, all right, so we got our axe. So we're going to start placing in stumps kind of all around here and just kind of make it as if they've all been chopped down. So that's kind of the plan. And I think it's going to look pretty good as well as we're going to put in some like rock features. And I think the rock will look pretty good. Let's change out this meat with these slabs right here. I think that will kind of help out. And I think it's already looking pretty good. Um, we're just going to keep adding in different kinds of stumps everywhere. And then, of course, the little 4 by 4s for those giant trees. So they're going to be kind of sparse around here. So we've gotten all the stumps placed in, so now we need to start coming in and putting some bushes in and just kind of tidying up the area and along with some rocks as well. I think the rocks are kind of crucial. Uh, I think that would be a good little look as well as to have some rocks. So we finished putting up the stumps and along with a lot of other decorations to ferns, red berries, and then we put in some strip spruce because I thought that might be kind of cool to as if, you know, it had come through here and been stripped. I think that's kind of a cool look. Um, we've decorated quite a bit and I'm quite happy with it. Um, let's let's take a look from up there. I <laughs> Look at that. That's that's a cool, cool view. And if we look back there, we can see our kingdom. I definitely think this is coming together. I'm very happy with this build. Now, we still got to put it in the gravel path. And it still comes through here. So that's kind of what I think we're going to be working on now. Just to kind of finalize this and make this area very uh, deforested. So we've got our path finally in here. And it's it's coming together, guys. I'm, I'm rather happy with this build. It's looking great. Um, you know, I don't know what else we can do. I, we could probably come back and detail it, but we might save that for an, another video. This has turned out pretty good and you know, I, I'm very happy with it. Let's, let's see what this all looks like as the sun's setting. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that color in the sky. Oh, it's gorgeous. But yeah, I think this has turned out into one of my favorite builds along with the wizard's tower over there. This is really cool. I'm super excited to have this. You guys are going to have to let me know what you guys think in the comments below for sure. I I'm super happy with this build. It's taken me a lot longer than I thought. It's taken me about a week to do all of this. Um, and that was spending quite some time digging up this dirt now i'm i'm very scared for over there i don't i don't know if i want to spend that much time but you know i'll do it for you guys but yeah this this is great and the sun is setting and it's kind of lit up i put some pumpkins around some pumpkins around yeah pumpkins around for us to help light up the air so this is this is it guys this, this was the secret project. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button down below. I'm really going to help me out here, and I would appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think of this build down below. And you know what? This, Like I said, this video is dedicated to Stanley. Rest in peace, girl. You were a phenomenal horse, and you were the best horse I've ever had. But you guys let me know what you guys think about this build down below. And I'm super excited to see what we're going to be doing next in this series. But until next time guys, you guys stay safe and you guys have a good one.